Hello comrades and welcome to another episode of the Ludic SMP. Episode 6, I believe it is as well. And last episode, let me just tell you that we got quite a lot done actually. We removed my house, we built the new one, my barracks, and we finished the highway. As far as I can finish it right now and it feels really really good. And uh, yeah, let's, let's change view and we have, yeah. <laughs> Robo has been busy, very busy. If you haven't watched Robo's episode, do that. And hopefully he will come up with a new one when I release this one. So, you know, some people have more time to record than others. I have quite a lot of time to record. So we are doing the best we can of that. And I am always trying to not reveal too much spoilers so but anyway the road is finished and we fixed it if you remember from last episode we had a problem with the daylight sensors they didn't detect well they did detect daylight nighttime through slabs so when i put a slab down it became night for the sensor and the lights yeah turn on and that's not good we don't want that so yeah carpet Carpet is the solution. So let's see, this is just a carpet. That's a trap. A trap carpet. Let's see, do we have a carpet with a sensor underneath it? I do believe it's this one here. This one may be one. Yes, there it is. So this is how we do it. And it works good. So, and it doesn't look too off. I mean, we could put some more carpets around to make it a bit more... Yeah, scattered around. Even on the other parts here as well. The curb. The curb is the word. Yes, no, the bird is the word. The bird? The curb? I don't know. I don't know. And anyhow, we also got a message from Kaloki that she has fixed, apparently. The casino in the nether was not rigged, she says. We, we, yeah, I believe her. I believe her. So she actually re-gifted the iron ingots there. And we will now go back there and try our luck again and see if we can get any more of those, uh, these totems of undying that would be nice so let's head down to the nether i don't know why i always say get down to the nether i don't know it's maybe because it feels like it's on the way down or something i mean it's it's kind of well some of you may know what i mean some some don't i don't know but yeah the nether yes the nether but i always say down to the nether i don't know why anyway this is supposed to be fixed so let's try our luck let's see if this works now I'm very excited. Nope, nothing. A purse, not so. Hmm. Oh yeah, it works. I was about to say, at least we get sounds now. We get some some piston action or something. But uh, it works. We got a totem. So let's see. We have sixteen iron ingots. So let's see how many totems we get. And there we go. So we've got a total of one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of 16. And it's supposed to be like a 50 50. I don't really believe that. But it's supposed to be like a 50 50 chance. I got six out of eight. Then if it's a 50 50. But, you know, I'm happy. I am happy with that. That's, that's more than enough, hopefully, with totems for me to, to begin with. And hopefully I will not die as much. I've, I've done, died. Well, I haven't died a lot, actually. To be fair, I haven't died a lot. Let's just, yeah, if I stay here in the darkness, I will die. And the road is lit up. Yes, I am happy with that. As Yeah, there we go. Yeah, it, it doesn't render. Or the, it renders, but it doesn't. The same distance is not enough. <laughs> so that's why I had to have three or do I have four? Three or four. I don't know. Three or four daylight sensors in there. So it, it would work. But we go there and we have a little sleepy sleep. Thank you very much. And let's see now. Uh, how many? Yeah, let's throw a rocket down because I wanted to press that button. Let's see. I've died twice. I mean, that's not that's not a lot. That's quite... I mean, yeah, it's twice. It's only twice. Let's see. Who has the... Yeah, the leader is seven. Someone have died seven times. I don't know who it is. But, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I am good. And now with the totems... It sh I mean, should be better. Yeah, should be better. 
So let's talk about today's episode, what we are doing today, because we've only been talking about the past and, well, the gambling, so present. And now let's talk about the future. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Wait a minute. I could have swore that I put up some paintings on these walls between the episodes just to do some more. As I told you, I told you I will do some more decorations. And I know I put some paintings up. Where are they? Where are... Oh, hello. I, I, oh, I, I really don't... I love the mask block, I really do. But as soon as I step on it, I don't like the sound because it sounds like a creeper. In my, in my head, it sounds like a creeper. But... Where are my paintings? Look, I can't even, I can't even say it. I can't even pronounce it. Okay, I did, I did my sign. My, my Disney mine. That's me. Hello. But where is my paintings? <laughs> no. <laughs> that is, that is, that is strange. I don't have much. I have, yeah, I have. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's get a rocket. All right. I don't. It is so strange. Let me get some paintings. There we go. Some paintings on the wall. Looks mighty fine. And uh, yeah, it, it really adds to the room, doesn't it? It really adds to the room. And I also have a little mirror here now. So looking fancy. Looking really fancy. With a little side toggle there to put the keys and wallets and... I don't know. Jug with milk or something there. And it's nice. So it's nice. No. Now. Back to the future. And speaking of the future, here we are. And when I say the future, it actually is quite a bit into the future. Because, yeah, since the last clip, it has been like two days. <laughs> I know it sounds strange, but that's how it is sometimes in the world of YouTube. And during that time, during the lapse there, my good friend and Ludic member, Redstone Robo, thought that he would like to help me out, which he did. He did quite nicely help me out and started to remove the hills in the Spawn Valley, the Ludic Valley here. And that is very, very nice of him because that means we have a lot less to do ourselves, actually, because it's a lot of mountain and terrain that needs to be flattened and removed. So thank you, Robo, for that. Actually, thank you very, very much. So with... Oh, my guards are here as well. So yeah, I have gotten complaints as well from other Ludic members, though, that my... Yeah, my, my patrols here, my guards are a bit too too violent or too overzealous in their work. So, yeah, and apparently, yeah, I hired them. We'll, we can say that. And they are on me as well. So, yeah, we will let them do the guarding and I do the sneaking inside my IKEA model house here. And... Uh, yeah, but enough waffling about. We actually really need to get to work. So let's start by removing the mountains and flattening out the area. Yeah, let's go. <laughs>
we are finished with that mountain as you saw there in that time lapse. It took some time though. It took quite a lot of time. I would say around four hours, maybe, maybe five, six. I didn't really keep count because I recorded it during, <laughs> well, a couple of days. A bit digging here, a bit digging there, but here we go. Here we go. I also trimmed off a bit of this part as well. And yeah, it turned out really, really good. Of course, of course, though, it needs to go all the way to this to be flat like this. Oh, I don't want the seeds. Thank you. It needs to be flat like this for the project, for the housing units to fit later on. So I need to take this down as well. But for now, it can stay like that. I was thinking first at converting all this to grass to make it look nice but then i thought like ah really do i really want to do that <laughs> it's just a lot more digging but we need to remove that one as well and that one and everything flattened down to y level 66 and uh, it's quite a big task i can't lie it's quite a big task and of course Jasno's house are still still there so we have to work a bit around that but I think I have a nice solution for that actually so maybe we can get to that in this episode to yeah to make that look nice and still fit in and I will have a talk with Jasno and see what he thinks about his house if he wants to keep it there I mean it can be a feature sure it can it could be one the one house left from the old village I mean, it's a bit dark, and uh, yeah, it's a bit dark and a bit gloomy, maybe. I don't know, but it can stay. It can stay for sure, if that's the case. So, left to do, as I said, is to, yeah, flatten this out. But I don't think I will get to that in this episode, to be fair, because it's a lot of digging. So, the next task on the agenda is all those blocks all the items we collected from taking down that mountain and luckily i got my hands on some more shulker boxes earlier and yeah i needed them i really needed them so yeah this is all the materials not all some of it disappeared but most of it is here and it's unsorted it's a lot of grass and dirt and stone and i mean i would like to have the shulkers back if if it's possible but i would like to have it sorted and going through it manually i can do that i can do that but it will take time so i was thinking of maybe maybe build up like a bigger storage space here with a sorter does that sound like a good idea i think it's a good idea because yeah, there will be a lot more stone, grass and dirt and stuff that needs to be sorted. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's, let's build a quick, easy item sorter. And for this, we need four barrels for the different types of stone and two barrels for one for grass and one for dirt. And then we have hoppers on the backside that feeds item into it. And we need these hopper rights here to yeah to act as the filters all right oh, not the filters just the main hopper line goes in there and then we have the filter system behind all right hmm let's see now how do we progress from here we have a second row all right i need i need some i need some scaffolding blocks hold on hold on and there we go all right so hoppers hoppers into blocks and glass on there and there we will need our comparators on those blocks reading off the hopper behind the block or the other side of the block like that and then we will need our there we go our stone we can place it on there as like that all right this is a really easy item sorter courtesy of ravin mad hatter and let's see now if I remember how to make it like so, should be right. Yeah, it should be like that. Let's do that and let's just plonk those down. Oh, too far. Doesn't matter. And then we need some redstone as well. Let's do that. Thank you. And 
place it like so. All right. And we also need to make that row there and that row there. And place redstone dust on there as well, like that. And on the other side, can we fit through there? Yes, we can. All right. And now we need the redstone torches. Like so, all right. And there we have it, mostly. Yeah, all right. We need uh, a hopper system that will transport all items as well. So let's see now. We have, oh, we have a little bit too few hoppers. We need to fix that as well. But first, we place down a block there. Do something like that. And we can start our hopper line under that. And now we'll go and get some more hoppers. And there we go. All right, let's put the hoppers down here as well. Let's see now, there they are. And this should be done like that. So here we have our input over there. I was thinking just plonking down the shulkers on top of there and just let it drain through, really. And we will place, let's see, do we have any? Yeah, I have two barrels left here. So let's put them down here as well. So let's see now. We have a barrel there, I think. Yeah, like that. And a barrel there as well. All right. And let's remove that block and place a hopper there instead. All right. And now, as you can see in my inventory as well, I have the composters. And the composters is quite important to have here because they reduce the amount of lag we can have here on the server. So if we place a composter on top of the hoppers, it will not look for blocks to pick up. It will, yeah, it will not look. So this will reduce the amount of lag and with the barrels as well. The barrel doesn't cause lag like chests do. So this should be quite friendly. The only thing that will do some lag is the flickering of the redstone over here. So, but we should be fine. And I really love how the texture on the other side, on the side of the comparator is the same as the smooth stone. So yeah, it looks nice. <laughs> This should be it. Now comes the, the nice task of just putting in the items to get filtered and the filter items, of course, as well. So let's see now. Do we have anything more? We need to go and take some stuff out from a shulker to get variants, all the variants of blocks. Let me do that. And there we go. We have some filter renamed item. And that was my anvil, apparently. All right. <laughs> it's always something. It's always something. So let's see now. In here, we will have the stone. And let's just plonk that one in. And that should start counting down. Yeah, it does. And let's see now. Filter there and the andesite. And the diorite. The good thing with this system is it's really compact and it's really reliable. And it doesn't need the piston pushing uh, obsidian uh, type thing. This just, this just work. And I just, just remember that we also have gravel. Hmm. So we might need to extend this system. And that's e really easy to do. So I will extend it probably at a later date. Uh, but now it should work. Now it should, yeah. There we have some old... Old stuff there? No, that's supposed to be there. And the site's supposed to be there. Let's see now. Is everything clean? I think we should have smooth stones somewhere else. There we go. All right. Now it's working. So we can just plonk one of the shulkers down on top of the hoppers. Let's get some blocks there later as well. So it's easy to get to. And there we go. And now it should sort out and filter. Yeah, it does. It works. And it's getting nighttime. So yeah. Let me extend it. And let's see if we can make it look a bit prettier think yeah prettier is yeah we can make that look prettier let's go and there we have it it's a bit bland i grant you that but it is also a bit of a rush job and i can't apparently be standing on a cliff all right th thank you game or thank you fingers for pushing keys that i don't want to in any case yeah this is it so the sorting system is ready it's all done so we have added gravel to it as well so we should have gravel there yeah and the overflow over here we have a bit of coal so far and the shulkers go on here so it's a really easy system that is i would say maybe 95 percent sure sometimes items will skip but that's just the nature of bedrock edition so we also connected it to a bit of a path here and we have thrown out some decorations some flower flowers and bushes and stuff like that 
And I think it turned out quite nice. Yeah, it turned out quite nice. Maybe do some more decoration around. But at the same time, it's a bit temporary because these are just our building barracks and we will store some stuff over here. And when this is filtered to, of course, this will not be enough storage. So my plan is to, once again, when this has been sorted, pop it into Schalke boxes again. But it will take less space doing this because then we have a full Schalke box of just stone and not a mismatch of different items. So, with that i am quite pleased what we did today i must say i am quite pleased and i'm th i'm really getting a hang of this uh this elytra thing actually that i just recently learned actually do you guys know what elytra is do you know what it is if you do write it in the comments because i recently found out what elytra is outside of minecraft so let's see if you know it without googling it that's important, just see if you know. But sadly, that is all I have time for in this episode. We got quite a lot done, actually. Oh, the smoke is there. And the flower, yeah, I can't. There we go. Hello. Hello, pig. Behind me as well. We got a lot done. We took down a mountain. <laughs> that's, that's true. We took down a mountain. And yeah, we'll do some more digging. Maybe until the next episode. Or maybe in the next episode. We'll see. We'll see. But I hope you liked this episode. And if you did, consider giving a like, and if you're brand new here, consider subscribing as well, it would be nice, and hit that bell, if you will, because sometimes I go live on here, and yeah, do some grind work on the Ludic SMP, and you are most welcome to come and join me on that, but until next time, have a nice day, everyone, bye-bye!